So now that we know how to find the distance between two points or two ordered pairs, another calculation that we want to be able to come up with is the midpoint between two points or two ordered pairs. So let me just jump right into an example. I have example one here. We want to find the midpoint between the ordered pairs, negative 3, 5, and negative 3, negative 8. Now this is a very simple example, so I believe that you can be able to do this on your own without me giving you any indication how. So I suggest that you pause the video and see what answer you come up with. Okay, this is a very simple example because these points are basically on one dimension. Since it's a straight vertical or if it was a straight horizontal line, then we only have to come up with the middle of that respective dimension. So here, since my x values are both negative 3, I know that my new x value will also be negative 3. All I have to do is come up with the middle point between my two y values of 5 and negative 8. I can do it a couple of different ways. I can just count in each tick mark appropriately from each side until I hit the middle one. Or, since we know how to find the distance between these, I can calculate the distance between 5 and negative 8, which is the absolute value of subtracting those two, which gives me 13. And then I can just divide it by 2. So that tells me my distance between each of these points is about 6.5 units. So I will count six and a half units away from each tick mark. So from my top, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six and a half units here. And that should be the same from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half units there. I need to figure out what y coordinate that is, and that is negative one and a half. But improper fractions are always the best format, so the final answer that I would give here is negative 3 and negative 3 halves. So that is my midpoint between my two points given. So we've done a very simple example of how to find the midpoint between two points. But as I said before, this one's simple because I'm really only looking at one dimension. So let me just go ahead and give you the formula here. The midpoint between two ordered pairs generically labeled x1, y1, and x2, y2 is given by this guy here. So I have a couple of hints to help you remember what this formula looks like. And each of these hints is given by a part of the name midpoint. So the first hint is going with the word point and midpoint, and that's telling you that your final answer should be point or order pair format. So when you're trying to come up with your midpoint, the first thing that you need to do is write an ordered pair format. Now, the second thing to help you figure out what this is, is the keyword mid. If you're ever trying to find the middle of something, then really you're trying to find the average between those two things. So the formula here comes up with calculating the average of our x values. We add them up, and since there's two x values, we divide by two. And same thing, the y coordinate comes from calculating the average of our two y coordinates, adding them up and dividing by two because there's two of them. Now notice I have this written in the form of x2 plus x1 and y2 plus y1, but addition is commutative, meaning I can rearrange it in any sort of way. So if I would have written this as x1 plus x2 over 2, and same thing with the y, it would give me the exact same calculations. The reason that I wrote it in this fashion is so it mimics what the last formula was, the distance formula. In those, we had to subtract those, and the order was given the two coordinate first and the one coordinate second. So that's the reason I wrote this in the same format here. 
Um, when memorizing all these formulas, students get really concerned as which one goes first and which ones go second. So I'm going to try and keep it consistent, and then you won't have to be concerned about that at all. So let's see an example here in which we use the midpoint formula. So I have this drawn up here on the right, and we'll come back and we'll double check our answer by graphing it. So find the midpoint between my two ordered pairs, negative 5, 1, and 7, negative 3. So my midpoint is given by adding my two x values and dividing them by 2 and adding my two y values and dividing them by two. So I'm taking my average of the x's, average of the y's, and putting them in point or ordered pair format. So let me label each of my points here. First one, x1, y1. Second one, x2, y2. If you label them um, in reverse order, no big deal, you'd get the same answer. So I add my x values up divide by 2. I add my y values up, divide by 2, and simplify. So I have 2 divided by 2 in my x coordinate, negative 2 divided by 2 in my y coordinate. So that means my most simplified midpoint here is 1, negative 1. And I can double check that by graphing it and make sure that it actually looks like it is the middle between these two points. So 1, negative 1 is graphed right here. And that looks like it did divide my line sector into two equal units. So that confirms that my midpoint is 1, negative 1. I have one more example of this. So find the midpoint between 4.2 and negative 4 and negative 2.8 and 3. I encourage you to work this one on your own by using the formula, as well as graphing it on your own to double check it. So this would be a perfect time to pause the video. Okay, so just plugging it into my formula, I add my two x values in no particular order, divide by two. I add my two y values, divide by 2. So 4.2 plus a negative 2.8 is the exact same thing as saying 4.2 minus 2.8. And if I were to do that math, that would give me 1.4 over 2 in my x coordinate. And negative 4 plus 3 gives me negative 1 over 2 in my y coordinate. Simplify this. 1.4 divided by 2 gives me 0.7 or 0 0.7. And my negative 1 half, I can leave it in fraction format, which is what we typically prefer. But since this one starts out as decimals, then decimal format would also be an appropriate solution here. So this is what I come up with. Let me graph all of these points to double check. So my first coordinate is right 4.2 units down four units, which gives me approximately right here. My second point is left 2.8 units and up three units, which gives me approximately right here. If I were to connect those dots and try and do this in the best fashion, it's usually typically very difficult to do by hand. So that's my best attempt at connecting those dots in a straight line. Let me graph my midpoint here, 0 0.7, so right 0.7 units and down 0.5 units, which puts me about right here. Confirm that that's the middle point between my two points, and it looks to be fairly appropriate, maybe just a little bit off because this is drawn by hand. So I do believe that I have the correct midpoint here, of 0.7 and negative 0.5. So I believe after this video, you should be fairly comfortable in calculating midpoint on your own by just using the formula. Just remember the hint that goes with it. It must be in point format where there's parentheses around the outside, and you're taking the average of the x and the y values.